Whoa. Whoa, whoa, she just flipped her whole booty. She flipped her booty. Do it, you scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy daddy, Scobar Drew <laughs> Hi, y'all. We back with another big bite banger. Yeah, feel me? Listen. Okay, first of all, let me cover my waves. I don't want to drown nobody by accident. But today, you see the title. You know what the heck going on, man? Honestly, let's talk about it. Let's really talk about it. These days, I feel like every girl wants to get their body done. I, I feel like that's that's that's, that's on like the list for every girl. Why? Go to the freaking gym, you lazy bum. You feel me? Like, why y'all just, all of a sudden, everybody just wants to get surgery. You feel me? I guess it's like social media. I guess it's, I don't know what it is, but every girl wants to walk around here looking like a, looking like an ant. But we're not gonna talk about it. I don't judge nobody. If you wanna get a fake booty, fake titties, go ahead, man. We just hate to see it. But today we're gonna be acting to some of the worst plastic surgeries or the plastic surgeries went wrong. I don't see. If you want me to react to something specific, all you have to do is DM me over there on Instagram at Juver underscore. DM me the video you want me to react to, and if I react to it, I'll shout you out. Yeah, for me, first of all, first of all, first of all, what am I doing? Y'all see this sexy thing that's on my head besides my face? Like this thing, you see the Juver? You need this, you want it, you can have it. Jurag.com. I'm saying buy two good third fruit. Or you can buy them say some $50. I'm telling y'all, this is some super sauce. Super. What is Simba doing? He messing up my promo. This is some super sexy spicy heat, baby. Super sexy spicy heat. Baby, I promise y'all. You need it. Let me go beat my cat real quick. Give me a sec. I'm back. Like I never left. But, what was I saying? Super spicy, sexy, something, you know, Jura.com. But without further ado, it's just how I write into this, man. I'm excited to watch this, you feel me? Not because I want to see any, like, plastic surgery, booty stuff, you feel me? I just want to, I'm just, I got an icy look. Dang, I almost dropped my icy, I'd have been sad. Let's go, though. Come on, play the song, bro. Play this, the video, man. Number 10. Lindsay Lohan. All right. We saw her in the other video. The, the kids gone wrong. This is just ugly. Lindsay Lohan is a celebrity whose fame mainly comes from the movies and television shows she has starred in, as well as her impactful social presence. Like many celebrities, Lohan eventually elected to undergo an initially minor form of cosmetic surgery, since her career is largely based on appearances as well as acting talent. Lindsay fell victim to a common trap that celebrities must avoid when considering plastic surgery, which is a kind of addiction to the surgeries themselves. With repeated surgeries being done in a time span that was way too fast, Lindsay Lohan had the the unfortunate result of mistakes in each surgery that would be minor on their own, compounding and turning into large, obvious. Oh, what mistakes. the heck is that? She got a whole limp lump on her freaking lip. Straight herpes. Her eyes is different levels. Like one eye up here, one eye down here. This is. Number nine. Josh oh, what the? What type of demon is that? You demonic? What the heck is that? Oh, look on the right. What the heck is that? What? What? Honestly, honestly, tell me you went to the doctor, my guy, my lady. You feel me, Jocelyn? Where did Will? Will? Why the heck your stupid last name is? Tell me you went to the doctor. He finished. He finished. Like all done. Where's my money? And then you look in the mirror. Thank you so much, doctor. Here's your money. You look ugly. Very ugly. Wilson. Jocelyn Wildenstein is a prime example of the truthfulness behind the phrase that too much of something. What, the f is what type of ogre is that in the in the right? What type of that's a ogre? That's not a woman no more. That's a beast. Bad thing. Wildenstein is a New York City socialite, someone who thrives and gains their success from social contracts and deals. She is aged 75, though you would be hard pressed to tell her age just from looking at her. She has had hundreds of surgeries in her lifetime, nearly all of which were cosmetic. Initially getting the surgeries was meant to improve her social standing, since being pretty makes introductions easier. Pretty? Pretty ugly? That's what you talk about. Pretty what? Where is pretty in that? Where is pretty in that? I can't find it. 
has been decidedly not as attractive as intended. In fact, many would argue that her overall attractiveness has gone down. A trend that can be seen. Oh my god! What animal is this? What animal is this? What? This not no, no. This no lady. This animal. It's publicity photos and pictures that are widely available from her. That just made me mad. I'm disgusted. I don't even want to eat this icy no more. It's freaking stupidness. Number eight, Renee Talley. What? What? This woman, Renee Talley, who was a stripper in Las Vegas, had uploaded a video in November 2012 about her washed butt implant, and it went massively viral. To date, it has 2.1 million views. Oh! Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. And it went massively viral. To date, it has 2.1 million views. Man, what is that? Why are you posing to show that? I ain't never seen a saggy fat butt before. I ain't never seen a saggy fat booty before. Never in my life. She has a sagging fat butt. She started getting cosmetic surgeries for her behind. And ain't no way. Her. That acted, that, that, that doctor needs to get killed. Nervous, things went downhill pretty damn quick. She said she started having... It's a plate? She got a bowl in there. What the f... What is that? She has a whole bowl in there. Oh, that's just bad. Oh, that's just horrible. Sensitivity in her butt area. Had stomach issues and bathroom problems. They got worse and worse. And believe it or not, the original implants aren't the ones in the massively viral video, shown here. After all these- Oh my goodness, what is that? Why is it like that? What? If she has like a bowl, like I got styrofoam bowls inside my kitchen. She has one of them in her butt. What is that? Ain't no way that's, ooh, how you sit down? How do you poop with that? Does it separate for your doo-doo to come out? Does your booty cheek separate enough for your doo-doo to come out as it's stuck in there? Yeah, but is your doo-doo stuck in, be honest. Problems occurred, she went for another go around. Don't Open touch it, stop it, stop it. Ew, what the f Stop! Bro! Yo! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! Whoa, whoa! 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 Whoa, whoa! She just flipped her whole booty! She flipped her booty! What the heck is going on? On the positive side, she hopes that her mishaps with butt implants convince other women to think twice before going all out with the implants. Please! Do not, like, ladies, ladies. Ladies, God made you beautifully and wonderfully. You don't need that bowl in your butt. You don't. I promise you don't. No dude wants that. Any, if any dude said he wants that, he's lying. If he likes that, he's a desperate weirdo. You don't want him. I don't even want to eat this no more. Number seven. Hang me up. Oh no. 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 Many others on no, the no the way. No, most people. no way. No way. discovered that she liked plastic <laughs> surgery and the way it made her feel. There was no it way. A lot more than some of the Wait a minute. She loved it so much that she had I'm not even gonna rewind. delayed procedures that her doctors flatly refused to give her any. I'm not even gonna rewind. Rather than doing the reasonable thing and trying to find a new doctor, or just I need to rewind. Number seven. What the f is that? What the f is that? What is Ain't no way you went to the doctor and asked for that. Ain't no freaking way. Ain't no way you went to the doctor and asked for that crap. The heck is, how do you go from that to that? You went from a nice 17 year old lady to an 80 year old grandma. A melting grandma. You look like the dude off the freaking, the, the, the biscuit bottle. The heck is up with you? Why are your chin and your mouth so separated? It's like the separation in your mouth just goes all the way down to your chin. It's like they're completely two different parts. Like you ever seen like a dummy? Like the little dummies that be on the hand and then they mouth move because you're moving it with your hand and ventriloquist dummies. That's how her mouth look like. A big old goofball. Oh, let me see this. More. Rather than doing the reasonable thing and trying to find a new doctor or just not having any more surgeries, she oh. elected to find an alternative way to inject what? herself. She figured that a good alternative to the medically sterile silicone or saline 
was to use cooking oil. This, of course, did not have the what? intended effects of salt. Stupidness! Do these people be cooking oil? You think your stupid self gonna inject some cooking oil in you and you finna turn out to be sexy? That's what you thought. I'm finna put this in my fish and I'm gonna be freaking sexy. You be all goofball built wrong. Look at you. Her skin and a full as well. Oh, they just made me mad. Uh, and scarring and uh, look at her neck. <laughs> Ain't no way. Number six. Christina Ray. Christina Ray only had one goal when she started to undergo plastic surgery. And that goal was to look exactly like That's the girl from Shark some from Shark Tales? Yeah. Jessica Rabbit. Even though Jessica Rabbit is an animated character with ridiculous no, and realistic proportions. It's not Ray held her as the oh, what the woman. Man, what the full head going, going on here, bro? Like. What the lips Ray going on here? Please state that her addiction for cosmetic surgery stems from her irrational jealousy of Jessica Rabbit. As well as her habit of comparing her figure, specifically the size of her lips, with others and fictional characters. While Ray has not had the absurd number of surgeries as some of the this list, she has made each surgery more significant in her mission for the end goal. No. Whether or not that makes her situation any better, no way, is subjective. No way. I don't, y'all. I I'm, I don't want to eat this icy, bro. It's making me mad. I'm disgusted. <laughs> I'm literally disgusted. This is so freaking disgusting. I'm disgusted. This is. I don't even want to eat this no more. I gotta force myself to eat this crap. And I love ICs. Number five. P. Burns. Bruh. P. Burns was the founder of an influential British. Oh, she was ugly before, anyways. No, no, mean. I ain't trying to be mean. I'm just saying she wasn't five before. Like. Well, the band as a whole was known for their androgynous looks. Burns, in particular, was the most associated with that look. With his slim figure and long hair, that's a dude. He frequently made efforts to. It's a dude. Eventually, he dedicated himself to the look, undergoing numerous plastic surgeries to exaggerate his more feminine features, while suppressing the male ones. The end result, however, was not so much androgynous as outright feminine, to the point that he was mistakenly rumored to have undergone hormone therapy for gender reassignment. All these surgeries, along with his generally effeminate way of speaking and conducting himself, has led to the overall failure of oh, no. surgeries. No way, no way, no. No. Number four. Amanda Lepore. This one, this one not even that bad. She not even that bad. Okay, let's watch it. Amanda Lepore is a It's a dude? Wait, it's not. A woman who underwent numerous oh, it is? Oh my days. Patients do more comfortably live in her own skin. Her first surgery was when she was only 19. And while not cosmetic, the sex change operation paved the way for the rest of the operation she would have over the following decades. Her operations include three separate breast augmentations, a surgery to make her butt bigger, and a highly illegal waist reduction she had to fly to Mexico to have perform. Among the inspirations she quotes are Marilyn Monroe and, of course, Jessica Rabbit. Despite many doctors and professionals speaking about the health risks associated with such extreme lengths, Amanda continues to maintain a partying lifestyle and frequently rubs elbows with the rich and famous as the most expensive body on earth. Let's pause real quick, right? They said she had had undergo an illegal waist surgery. Therefore, if it's illegal, it's deadly. She had to go out of the country to get this surgery. She was so desperate for a two inch waist that she went all the way to Cabo, Mexico to get her body sculpted into a freaking uh, an icy stick. Man. <laughs> Number three, Maria. I can't do this. I can't. What the heck is this? What the heck is this? What is this ping pong ball doing on my screen right now, man? What is this? What is what is going on? Ain't no, ain't no. I'm done. With this is. Ain't no way, man. Geronazzo. Maria Geronazzo is a Hungarian woman who is mostly commonly known for extensive cosmetic surgeries aimed at enhancing her features. Maria has undergone surgeries varying from facelifts, 
brow lifts, multiple types of injections, and breast implants, the failure of her surgeries is not in the individual operations, which were all successful, but from the combined effect of all of them. The mixing of multiple facelifts has made her skin appear to be stretched tightly over her face, which looks pretty unnatural. A different type of operation called filling, where silicone or saline is injected to fill out hollow or sagging features, has disordered her cheeks into narrow bags that look filled with a liquid which is decidedly not the intended effect. I ain't never seen no foolishness like this before. I ain't even know. Number two. Dennis Allen. Okay, what the? At this point, we, this is a joke. At this point, this is a freaking, what, what? At this point, this is a joke. At this point, uh, this is a joke. What the is going on here? What the is going on here? Is that? What is that? Somebody let me know. Stalking Cat. Man, what? Native American man, formerly known as Dennis Afford. What? Was born in 1950. What? Ain't no way. Surgeries in order to more closely resemble a tiger. Ain't Afford no. He felt that in order to become closer to the tiger, which was his totem animal and his tribe, he must strive to resemble them as closely. Ain't as possible. no way. In pursuit of this spiritual goal. Oh, look at the hair on his. Oh my God. Oh, the piercings. Uh. What the fuck is y'all like y'all don't cuss? I'd be cussing up a stove. What if I saw this man in person? I'm slapping the crack out of him. I promise you, I'm slapping all the crack out of him. Abner underwent a series of 14 surgeries, many of which were customized to his particular. Tell me, he don't got no freaking tail. Tell me, this big old goofball don't got no freaking tail with your sagging titties. Why do you have tigers? Don't got no sagging titties. Why you got sagging titties? Why do you you want to be a tiger so bad? Go run, you freaking saggy titty, whatever you are. The generic facelift or injection. Some of the more controversial operations Abner had done include lip cutting to better mimic the way a cat's mouth looks, and special implants to make whisker-like growths on its face. Man, what the, f bro? What the? F Number one. Michaela Romanini. Okay, this one not crazy. This, I don't know why. I can't believe I'm saying this one not they crazy. This one looks stupid. But compared to all the other crap we just looked at, this is kind of normal. This is basically like a normal surgery, to be honest. Her lips just ashy. Michaela Romanini is a well-known woman in her home country of Italy. While initially well-known as a naturally attractive person, and a very social one as well, she quickly took the cosmetic surgery and a deep-seated need to improve her looks. She underwent numerous minor surgeries, including Botox and lip injections, though she never decided on any really major operations. The biggest failure in Romanini's surgeries is not that the operations went wrong, or even that when added together they do not look as good as they should. The biggest failure is that, before her decision to undergo surgery, she was widely regarded as being incredibly attractive, though she apparently failed to notice this herself. You know I've reacted to a lot of videos, right? But what the actual did I just watch? I ain't never seen no foolishness like this. The whisker man, the big old bold booty girl, the girl that got the, the sagging skin and the looking like the looking like the biscuit man. Oh man. I'm telling y'all ladies, please, if you watch this, if you considering plastic surgery, because you wanna look like Kim K or freaking India, India, whatever her name, whoever got plastic surgery, if you wanna look like any of them, you don't, it's fine. You look okay. You even if you ugly. You not as ugly as these people. Now I'm saying you, you was very attractive compared to these people. So leave yourself the same as you is. You was beautifully and wonderfully made. Now I'm saying all my dudes out there that want to get surgery too. Listen, just because your penis small don't mean nobody don't like you. It just means girls don't like you. You feel me? But that's fine. Cause if you get yourself a Jew rag, they go love you. Now I'm saying. But listen, let me know in the comments down below what the heck y'all think. Cause honestly, right now, not even gapping, not even nothing. My stomach hurts. Literally, my stomach hurts. I should have never ate that icy while eating this thing. I mean, I should never. What? I should never ate that icy while watching this thing. I'm just, I'm just done, man. I uh, hope y'all enjoy y'all day, man. I, I should have never watched this foolishness. But if you got something else that you want me to watch, hit my Instagram. Just DM me the, the link to the video. If I watch it, I'll shout you out. If I don't watch it, then it wasn't interesting enough for me to react to it. But um.
Yeah. I promise you. If my daughters ever wanted surgery, bro, I gotta slap the crack out of them too. This is ridiculous. I'ma see y'all next video, man. I'ma see y'all. Hey yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly Wings to the sky, no I'm never borderline They choose I, cause I'm way above you The waves make the haters love you When the ladies come through